the things I do for art. I hate copper. I hate copper so much. I need wax. This is going to be a problem. Hmm. At least I have a new axe. That'll make it a little easier, I think. And I need more copper. Okay, so this wax. Not this wax, this copper. I need wax. I would like to build with copper, but I specifically want this color. Which I'm not going to worry about it getting to staying there yet. I'm going to get to that once I get around to waxing them. But the problem is I don't have any wax. So I went and found some bee bees. Bee 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 beehives. Beehives. We're doing great. I went and found some beehives. And those beehives are now sitting in my barrel right here. Um, I got to breed them up. I only have two as far as I'm aware. But we're going to try and install some sort of bee farm back here. The problem I'm running into is making sure that I'm not going to overrun anything down here. But these Duma Flickers, if you give them shears, you can get the wax out of beehives without much effort. Because I know you can do it with honey, because honey will drain and stuff. But I'm going to figure out how to shove a little bee farm in here. It's not going to be big, but it, it's going to work enough that when I'm in here sitting around waiting on other stuff and working on other stuff and I'm just in the area, I should be able to get enough wax to quickly and efficiently make an area for my copper because I need a little wax it so I can work with it but I love the way it looks unfortunately I'm also gonna need it for other builds but we're starting with this because I really want to get this specific build done and it requires quite a fair amount of copper so we're gonna be doing some more mining too while we're at it but I gotta get this thing built so I'm gonna go get to that and then I will show you guys it once I've got it wrapped up so I'll see y'all when there's bees in there we have bees. It's not the most efficient thing in the world, but it is in fact working and it's doing the job I need it to do. But look at them. So the way we set it up is it's got those little, hold on, I have an easy way to show this. We have free cam. We have these little pusher guys that will pop forward and they will shear these every time that there's something in there to shear, which is great. And then it spits it out into these little Duma flickers. Oh, perfect. Lands on that lovely conveyor belt, sends it on up to here. Whoop, we are too far up. And then it plops it into that thing and spits it into my barrel, which works great. And it's not too big, not too small, but it fits nicely with this machine. I didn't want it going too, too fast. So we put it up towards the back of our speed up contraption so that we can all flow through up towards to this and do a phenomenal job of making our bee farm work. And I would call that successful in my opinion. Why does my bee have a funny butt? Hold on. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You're cute. What's going on here, mate? Is this part of Bumble Zone? I think this is part of Bumble Zone. My bee looks like it's got an apron on. You're very cute. But. We now have a thing to get wax for us so that we can start to wax our copper once we get to the right position slash aging process so that I can work on the build I want to do. But we are not anywhere close to getting that done because I still need a lot of materials. I need to go find the schematic setup so that I can figure out how the cannon works and so I can figure out where we're building this. But the next thing after that is I need to go find a whole bunch of different nether woods because I got some of the woods I picked were ones from the nether that I just realized I didn't have any of or haven't even seen yet. So we're about to go on another adventure to go and find the things I'm missing. Also on stream recently we went ahead and experimented with some stuff and now we have the next level of the elytra which is this crystalline one. We also have the armor one but it glides much slower and I did not like that so we got this all set up and it's looking snazzy. I do need to figure out what armor enchantments I can put onto this. I just wanted them ending up breaking for the time being because it actually comes with some higher level armor. But you got to use this Duma Flicker to make it because you got to put a whole bunch of components in. But it worked out mighty swell. And it looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Kind of hard to tell from this angle. But you know. Wee. But I like the way it looks. It looks just a little more fun. A little extra. Might as well be extra. I think we are getting along swell with our work. 
So I'm going to work on getting ourselves out into the nether once we have some more food and things like that so that we can go find the other blocks I need. But I'm happy to say this tiny little crate farm for beeswax is adorable. So we'll show y'all what else we get up to in just a minute. Unfortunately, the audio for the next clip did not make it through the transition process, but I'm going to give you a loose interpretation of what I was saying when this clip was happening. It shall be interesting. Oh my gosh, look at this place, guys. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's some sort of bastion place, but there's piglins everywhere and so many blocks. Like this, the, 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 the s -s -s stuff I was using to make the quartz glass, you know, it's beautiful. But this place is huge. I don't know what it is. And I kind of want to poke around it, and I don't know what it is. So, I can't get through the wall. I messed up. I'm still stuck. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we're doing great. So, I have no clue what this is. I'm assuming it's some sort of, like, non-ruined bastion. Bastion. What are those? I don't want to the piglins get the closed door. But what are those? Oh, Oh, it's like a chest. Oh my gosh. Um, why is the axe not working? Okay. Ah, perfect. This is gorgeous. Oh, we have a friend. Not anymore. But this place is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how to feel about it. Because it's just this giant mansion thing in the middle of lava. Ooh, more. Those are mine now. What on earth? Yeah, I'm taking that. That's mine now. No, actually, I don't want to touch a respawn. That's fine. But this place is crazy. I'm also so scared Piglin's going to jump on me from anywhere. What on earth is this? Okay. It looks like a tower. What is everything around here? There's no loot. I'm disappointed. This is still cool. Huh. Ooh, lantern. I'm not taking that. That's fine. It, it's pretty, but it's fine. Ah, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What on earth? I really hope I don't run into any brutes, but let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Boop. Wonderful, wonderful. Can I hit it? I love popping these things. And it's gone. Disappointing. But... This place is absolutely gorgeous. I would love to explore this a ton more, but I'm not sure I can do so safely. Oh gosh, that's why. I would also love to bring Ferks out here to see this, but I'm not sure what it is. So I guess we should just clear out. We should clear out of here. It's not safe. It's not safe at all. But there's so many pretty things. This, yeah, I'm not risking this. We're not risking this. But this place is super cool. Wait, can they open doors? They can't open doors. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I will show you guys what we're up to in the next clip. Hopefully we get out safely. Alrighty, so we are back in the overworld and we are working on material gathering. And I have gathered a fair amount of materials that are already listed on my schematic list. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be listing all of the materials, but we're working on that. We're working on finding all of it. So, I have gotten quite a bit of stuff. So we got- that's- that's not one of the blocks I needed. That can go- nope, that- that can go sit in here. Um, but we are gathering everything I can think to gather right now, including all of these. Um, I do need to go farm up some of these, which shouldn't take too, too long. I can just take over this. That is my fortune. We need silk touch. But we have been working on getting all the stuff and things we can need. The problem now I've run into is one of the big things that I'm going to need a lot of is wool. And I don't have a lot of wool. Um, I literally just found a couple sheep and dragged them over here. So we have these guys. And I'm not sure how I'm going to go about making a farm for this. The only thought process I had is something similar to the bee farm I built. But instead of like individual slots they're in, set them up in like a room of grass. 
So, like, there's room of grass, and then when they're at the adult height, have two or three of these little arms functioning and pulling in and out of the walls that can shear them. I'm not sure how that would go, but we can definitely give it a shot. I don't think I'll be getting that one done today, unfortunately, though, so we're going to try and knock out as many other resources as I can possibly get done today. However, I need that specific color, and I believe I need purple, too, which is a weird combo to need, but here we are, and I need them. So we're doing our darndest to get this underway. The problem we are running into, though, is the materials I need are so odd and peculiar in their own nature that we are just struggling. So, like, one of the things I needed was a whole bunch of amethyst and a whole bunch of... What's it called? What is it called? It is... Tinted glass. And we were able to get a bunch of that, and I didn't know, but you could apparently grind amethyst down, and they will spit shards out in here pretty well instead of having to wait for them to grow. So if you have, like, a full amethyst and you'd rather just harvest the whole amethyst, which is what I did, you can do that pretty efficiently and be able to break them down into the other blocks. But this is how we've been getting all of our warped nylium and other things so that we can easily come on that's rude let's go grab a little more mind you it doesn't it's not the most efficient thing ever but it is working it's best to do what we need to do i need to get these llamas to go somewhere else but it's definitely doing the job for what we're looking for and we are able to pretty quickly harvest a bunch of these because all i have to do now is break everything but that one and then I just do this and boom the majority of it is broken and I can now walk away with all of it and then we just toss most of it back into my composter so that we can have those lovely lovely bone meal over here because I went ahead and expanded this so that we would be able to get bone meal faster because we were running out of it so terribly quick but I'm gonna keep working on punching out stuff like this and I will bring y'all back when we have more resources to show for our chaos. Alrighty, we're getting really, really close to having everything I'm going to need, which is a lot. Unfortunately, we're still working on finishing up with the copper. And I definitely do not have the wool I need yet because the sheep are still... Hello there. Sitting outside this window. I haven't set up a farm for them, so that's not going to happen, at least not today. But the other thing I'm running into is some very peculiar and certain blocks that I decided I needed in this build for some reason. And one of them just so happens to be deep slate lapis ore, which I have none of because I forgot that I wanted to use it and I went ahead and fortuned everything I already had in that terms of material. So we are gonna have to go and get back into our mines. Unfortunately, this apparently is very full and I am going to need to desperately go empty this, but we are running into that problem of I am on the last couple things I need. So I'm going to go ahead and empty that thing out. And I'm going to take you all down to the mines with me and show you how I've been going about gathering and processing so much of this material. Because there is a lot of it to go through and look at. So I'll show you that when we get down there in just a second. Alrighty, so this is what we kind of spend a lot of time doing. I have tunnels all over the place. Unfortunately, I've been doing... Oh, there's some up there most of my mining up in the stone layer because I can actually use the stone after because the stone can be turned into gravel and other useful items. Unfortunately, the black stone, not black stone, deep slate, isn't exactly useful for most other things, but we can still get some stuff out of it. You just have to craft with it and not use it for any of the create stuff. So we have been spending most of our time up on the higher levels getting that done so that we can better produce and create the things up there but we are having some pretty good luck right now clearing this out i have expanded this thing a couple of times now i plan to make it bigger sooner than later but we will just dig a small tunnel and then run this thing i know there's ways to automate it so it goes even faster without you like pre-tunneling for it but this has been working pretty good for us um and when I'm done with it, I just pop it up with this thing, which is nice and easy. Overall, though, it's worked. Um, 
I don't really need diamonds on the server currently, so it's not something I've been trying to gather anyway. So being up in the stone layer is perfectly fine. Hello, darkness. Problem we run into a lot though is the caves, and we run into these little water pockets, which are a pain in the behind to deal with. Not impossible, just a bit annoying, because more often than not, it's gonna flood the area, and because your carts don't, or the mine tracks no longer break when wet, they end up leading to just a bit of a mess for us to have to clean up because it's a bit hard to grab the tracks out from underneath the water. So, like right now, you've just seen we've run into where the edge of my track was, which means we're going to keep on going in just a sec. I'm going to pick up these extra tracks and then we have them for in a minute. I leave a couple at the start so it's easy to push it to launch it. However, gravel is the bane of anyone's existence when mining. But we're down here doing this because dark or deep slate lapis, for some reason I decided I needed to incorporate into the build, is a bit of a pain to collect. And it has a very weird spawn requirement in terms of like where it's visible. At certain levels, it is not going to spawn capable to air. And this level is not one of them, but it is a good thing to go ahead and just mine out tunnels for myself anyway because I want to eventually use more stuff to build with. We're just going to go straight through this cave instead of going around it because it's a little more efficient just to go through. Okay. And then increase our platform all the way here and keep on going. I do eventually want to make a better automated system, but I'm only producing pretty much for myself for the most part in terms of materials, so getting excess of materials is more of a I have a project I want to do than if something else was really trying to be done by a group, so that's a thing. Okay, unfortunately we're going to stop on that point, but I'm going to set the drill to keep going all the way to I hit the point I hit that cave, and then we'll go explore that cave because never know what you find in there. Can be can be exciting. Maybe we'll find some good stuff. There we go. And then I just pop this back down and send it on its way. And usually it's got some charcoal currently being fed into it because I need coal blocks too for this build. I don't know what I was thinking, but it just runs on its little merry way and I go upstairs and I empty it after. So yeah, we're going to bring y'all back to see what I get from this mining session. Haven't done a ton, but we'll see what comes out of it. Alrighty, I did the math and it looks like we're gonna have more than enough of this, which is awesome. I am gonna go back through and do like one or two more checks to make sure I have every single item I am missing. But other than the copper and the wool, it looks like we are pretty much set to go beyond. Hold on, hold on, we're missing one thing. We are missing one thing and that would be I need like 50 copper ladders or so. So let's actually really quickly go and do that. Gotta switch the bases out. Boop. And then get us some copper sheets. Turn that on. Wonderful. Put stress on this thing unnecessarily. I love how much faster this is. It makes it so much easier. But once I have those, we should be good to have everything but the wool. So we'll start a wool farm for next episode. Um, and I'll let y'all see it next episode. But we're going to try and wrap all of this up so we can start that build next episode in particular because I really want to start doing bigger and bigger builds so that we can also then continue to experiment more with the blocks and the pallets that are available to us within these packs and mods. It's great. I'm excited. I would like to hopefully plan out the location for it before I place it for next time, but that should put us in a good spot to pretty easily keep trucking forward. Whoop. You know what? That's just going to live there for now. Um, but that should be everything that this one needs. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with us and watching. It has been an absolute blast. We are looking as tacky as can be with all of our knickknacks and gadgets. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Drink water. Have a lovely rest of your day. And if you've made it to this point and you're not subscribed to me, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!